everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Sunday reset. It looks like a bomb went off in here, I'm gonna be honest. We have a six month old baby and I feel like even though we try to tidy a little bit every day, I feel like the weekend comes and it's just like, this is the time that we need to buckle down and take care of all of the house chores. So we have a lot to do today. We did start yesterday on a few different organizational projects that we did not finish yesterday. So I wanna get those things done. One of those is the guest room. I pulled out a bin of the clothes that Kai has grown out of and reorganized his current clothes so that everything in the closet is just what fits him now. So I need to put all of those things away that we're gonna put in storage. I need to clean up the kitchen. The dishwasher is still clean from running last night and we need to load it. I need to tidy up my desk area. So just a lot of like home organizational things. Uh, cleaning up is what's gonna happen today. Barish, my husband, has already cleaned up our living room. He has also vacuumed, so that is taken care of. Baby boy is sleeping right now and we're gonna take advantage of nap time as much as humanly possible. I feel like we're getting such a late start to this. It's already like almost one o'clock, <laughs> so. Let's get a move on and get this pop in because truly there's so much to clean up. You're going to die when I show you the guest room. I can't. I can't believe I'm showing you to be honest, but whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully this will motivate you to also do a little tidying, do a little organizing if you feel led. Obviously no pressure. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below and let's get started because I have a lot to do. So last night I made these energy bites. They are literally divine. I feel like there is something in them that is so addictive. They are so freaking good. My sister actually reminded me of the existence of energy balls and I decided to make some last weekend. Could not get enough of them, <laughs> almost to the point where it was a problem, but they're only four ingredients. It is oats, peanut butter, mini chocolate chips, and you can use honey or maple syrup. I used honey. I can put the exact recipe below. I just think the honey gives it a nicer texture and flavor. I don't really want it to be super sweet. I feel like maple syrup is like too sweet. But anyway, you keep them in the freezer. The texture is literally unreal. So we are going to put them in a bag now that they're fully frozen and pop them back in the freezer. What I really like about these is that I feel like they're a good alternative to something sweet and sugary. If I want something a little sweet, this totally satisfies that craving. And I'd much rather have this than something processed obviously so highly recommend those okay the kitchen is cleaned up Everything is in the dishwasher. All the surfaces have been wiped down. Got my little Valentine's Day tea towel out. I think it is looking good, so we're on to the next thing. Okay, before we go to the guest room and try to tackle that, I am going to dust our TV stand. It's black, so it shows the dust really easily. So I'm going to dust this, light a little candle, and then we're gonna move on from the kitchen living room space. I don't know what it is. I feel like once everything is done, I like to light a candle and I'm like, okay, it's done. You're good now. You're cute. <laughs> okay, let me dust. It is time to address the guest room. It looks horrific. <laughs> Like it actually looks so bad. I um, don't even know where to start. So I guess I'll show you what we're working with, but these bins that are all out, I'll show you, hold on. So we got out all of these bins just to go through and organize. A lot of this is stuff that Kai isn't using anymore or stuff that is too small for him. These other bins, we just need to figure out what's in them, go through them and reorganize them a little bit so everything shuts. Honestly, I'm seeing things right now that I probably don't need, but I don't know. Oh my God, this feels like such an undertaking, but it's fine. I also have returns to process. A habit that we've gotten into that I would really like to break is that our guest bed becomes a dumping ground for so many random things. I just, I can't, I, I hate this. <laughs> we need to break this habit. So I'm gonna also go through everything on the bed, make sure that this all gets put into its right place. And then we are going to strip the bed, wash the sheets with our sheets that are currently on our bed. That's always part of my Sunday reset. Every Sunday I wash our sheets, Kai's sheets, put fresh sheets. Um, God, how many times can I say sheets? <laughs> 
put fresh sheets on our beds. So we're going to do that today as well, but I'm also gonna be washing this. My sister's coming to visit this weekend, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna get this room looking not horrifying for her. Gonna make it look stunning. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I think the place to start is probably with these bins. I feel like once we have those put away, the floor will be clear and it will feel less overwhelming. So we're gonna start with those. myself up right now because I keep stopping and just like staring around the room but there's not even that much to do so why am I so overwhelmed I think it's because I don't like putting random stuff into boxes like I like everything to have its place but honestly when you have a tiny baby you just gotta kind of pick your battles and I guess that I'm going to put some of these Halloween decorations in the same bin as my computer accessories because why not you know and he's gotta let, let it go. <laughs> Saying that to myself, I need to let it go. So I think that we're getting to a pretty good place. I think everything on the bed is the clothes I need to decide on, if I'm gonna return or not. Some new travel accessories that Barge had ordered, and then a little toy for Kai that he's finally old enough to play with. So I think that as far as these bins, I actually think that we're good to go. So I'm gonna have Barge come in and put them in the closet for me. I wanna take a look at my desk, also and organize that but that might be in a little bit because baby boy is starting to wake up so i think i'm going to feed him and then i think we're going to transition to laundry since he's awake and i can strip the beds and everything easily as a quick side note i've really been struggling with reading and getting through books this month i don't know what it is i don't know well i think i do know what it is i think what it is is this constant thought of i have so much to do like i feel like there's always things on my to-do list that need to be checked off so i feel like reading falls to the bottom of that list but i have decided that the book that i'm currently reading i need to finish by the end of the month so that i did finish two books in january and we can just improve from there made some good progress. I'm now sitting on the couch. I'm gonna eat one of my little energy balls. So excited, little snack. Kai is sitting here in his little jumperoo, as they call it, and he loves it because he gets to use his legs and actually like bounce, and he is really going to town on that. So I have Kai's bedding and our current bedding in the wash right now. I already put fresh bedding onto Kai's little crib mattress and I'm going to put bedding onto our mattress after I'm done folding this laundry. And I'm just gonna keep doing a few more loads of laundry because I have probably at least a load of our clothes to do, a few items for Kai. So I am feeling infinitely better about the state of affairs. Oh, I need to show you the guest room. I'm not quite done in there yet, so again, <laughs> That's something else we need to finish today. But we did put all of those bins into the closet. So the floor is looking much clearer, much more clean. So I have a couple things to put away and then we need to tackle my desk. Ideally, I would get everything done by the time Kai goes to bed because when Kai goes to bed, I would like to tackle my to-do list. So I wanna look at my notion. I wanna see what is on my calendar for this week and get a couple things checked off the to-do list if possible. Potentially work on editing this video and plan filming another video this week. And then I am also working on a newsletter, which I think I mentioned in a recent video. I am working on a newsletter. It's primarily going to be travel focused, but there will be other little odds and ends in there. So soon I'll have a link if you're interested in subscribing, please do. But I don't have that yet, it's not ready yet. So I would like to knock a couple things off of my to-do list for that project. I love you. He is having the time of his life and this jumper is actually hilarious. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna eat these, put on a YouTube video and fold some laundry. So I have the 
sheets and everything in the laundry right now. They are washing. We have some things on the floor here like this here and something else right below me that we are going to throw away. So that's all trash, so I need to collect all that. These I'm gonna put under the bed, so I'm gonna do that now. I decided to keep these two sweaters from H&M, so I need to move these to the bedroom. And honestly, I think right now I'm going to take care of this trash, tidy up the rest of this floor, and then clean up my desk. that my parents got me for my birthday. Thanks guys. I got the essential, what's this called? The essential tote? Oh gosh. Essential tote, something like that from Madewell. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is in the color chocolate raisin. It might be kind of hard to tell in this weird lighting, but it's brown with a slight plum undertone to it. It is so pretty. Look at the buckle. Oh, I'm literally obsessed. I also love it because it is a very slouchy shape. Like, I just feel like it falls so nicely when you're holding it on your shoulder. I literally love it. I have a couple uses in mind for this bag. One is for when I go into the office. I do think that my work laptop will fit in here, but I am a little nervous about how heavy it is because that thing is a brick. It is so heavy. So I'm gonna kind of have to test that out. But the other function I wanted to use it for is, I do have a diaper bag, obviously, for the baby boy. And that thing is chock full of things. And I like to bring that bag when we go out and about, but sometimes, especially if we're going into like the mall or a little like shopping area or walking around like town or something like that, I don't necessarily wanna haul my heavy big diaper bag with me. So I wanted a bag that was sizable enough to fit my essentials plus his essentials. So in this bag for now, because I'm not going into the office this week, I am going to put what I deemed his essentials into this bag. So I have one of these bad boys. Technically this is for wipes. I have a two pack. One has wipes. This one has little changing pads. My diaper bag does have a reusable changing pad that comes with it. But again, if I'm just wanting to bring this bag for a quick outing or something like that, I will have a few little disposable changing pads in here for easy access to keep things clean because if you have a baby, you know, most places to change a baby is in a bathroom and it's disgusting. <laughs> I also have a bag that has wipes and a couple diapers. I have a little reusable Ziploc bag that has one of his teething ring toys in it. And then I have a change of clothes. So I have a long sleeve onesie, pants, and a pair of socks rolled up in a little burrito. And there's still plenty of room in here to put my necessities. And what is so nice about this is that it, the bag itself is so lightweight. Like it's actually kind of insane. I have used this a couple times with Kai's necessities in it, and I could not believe how lightweight it was, even for walking around for an extended amount of time. That's kind of insane. So, very excited about this. I'll link it below if you guys are interested in seeing it or checking it out. We have reached the end of the day. It is now 8.02 p.m. Kai is asleep. He is in bed for the night. And I feel really good about all of our accomplishments today. Now what usually happens at this point of the night, what I should say is that this part of the night varies a lot. I will tell you my ideal scenario, and sometimes the night does go like this, other times it doesn't. So usually after Kai goes to bed, either Barish or I will walk Lucy, he's walking Lucy tonight so that I can wrap up this video. So I will usually sit down at my computer and I will do one of a couple things. Since it is Sunday, I am going to look at my Notion and look at my to-do list for the week just so I am in the right headspace going into tomorrow and I know what I need to focus on first and what to prioritize. So I'll go into my Notion, look at my to-do list, look at my upcoming projects, my up upcoming YouTube videos, things like that. Sometimes I will also edit a video. Usually I like to film videos when I can during the week so that I can edit them over the weekend in the evening or while Kai is napping. 
I like to have my video for the week ready and set to go by Sunday night usually so that when Thursday comes, everything is scheduled and done and good to go. So my evenings a lot of the time will be checking in on my Notion, editing a YouTube video. I am working on my net newsletter right now, so I am going to be working on that tonight. I think what I'm gonna do tonight is look at my Notion to-do list, probably start to transfer the clips for this video, maybe start editing this video, I'm not really sure. But basically my ideal night would be doing a little bit of computer work for me. Then I like to take a shower and then I like to have a solid 30 minutes or more to read whatever book I'm currently reading before I go to bed at 10 or 10.30. So that is the ideal evening schedule once Kai goes to sleep. And a lot of the times that is my evening schedule at night. A lot of the times I follow that almost to a T. The only thing that's been kind of different lately is that since I do want to work on this newsletter and I'm really focused on getting this started and set up, and also a couple nights a week, Barsh and I will watch something together. So recently we were watching the Harry Potter movies again. So we actually just finished the last one last night. So we'll, you know, watch a movie together, watch some YouTube videos, a show, something like that. So I did the most today. So I definitely want to relax tonight and read my book. But I think what I'm going to do right now is look at my to-do list, work a little bit on the newsletter, and then I'm going to shower and I'm going to read. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for resetting my home with me on this lovely Sunday. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, all of those things. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.